Hi guys, it's Steve Hawkins and this is a quick video on buffer sites, what they are and how we can use them. A buffer site is basically a site that we use to protect our money sites. With our money site, we know we cannot throw lots of links in a very short period of time or we can get our money site penalized by Google. So we build a wall around the site with other sites that are trust and authority and these are called buffer sites. And these prevent our main site receiving any type of link penalty when we push a lot of links. We can think of it like this. In your home, you have a garden and around your garden, you build a fence. The fence is built to protect your garden property. We wouldn't want someone parking a stolen car, for example, in our garden or trespassing in our garden. So we build this fence to protect our property. And this is basically the same for our money sites. We can protect them when we build links to stop any link building penalty from Google. So we can still build really powerful links really quickly, but we negate any effect this can have by not sending these links directly to our money site. The reason why these buffer sites don't incur penalties is because they have high authority and trust in the eyes of Google. And we can also benefit from this high authority and trust by adding articles and links on these buffer sites. And because these sites have lots of authority and trust, some of that is passed along the link to our own sites. This means that we can push hundreds and hundreds of links if we wish to, to our buffer sites, and this won't affect the buffer sites at all as they have high authority and trust in the eyes of Google. And this benefits us because the links that we push from those sites to the inner pages on our money sites get boosted because of the number of links we can push to these authority sites. The only thing we need to remember is that when we are creating links from our buffer sites that the content we add to our buffer sites is related to the page on our money site that we are sending the link to. As we know buffer sites that we use have high authority, high trust and rankings within Google's eyes. And the buffer sites we create that will use this rank, trust, and authority is either web 2.0 sites, these are blog type sites, which we can post articles to, add links back to our own money site and gain the benefit, or we can create private blog networks. This isn't the same as public blog networks that were hit with Penguin. These are networks that we create ourselves but we need to create these in a specific way. With both the, with both the web 2.0 sites and the blog network sites, we must have all of these on separate IP addresses. Here are some examples of buffer sites and private networks. With private networks, these are a network of sites that we create, that we host on multiple IP addresses. What this means is if you buy hosting with a company, say HostGator, your site is on one of their servers and their server has a unique address called an IP address. And these addresses are picked up when Google spiders your website. So you will gain more valuable links 
if we curate a network that has different IP addresses for our sites. We do this by purchasing additional IP addresses or by using a host that sells a range of IP addresses with our hosting. These private network sites are usually WordPress sites or Drupal blogs. And what this means is we install the WordPress software or the Drupal software on the site that we are creating for our network. It also works best if we are using age domains. That's domains that are at least a year old. But if you can get domains that are five, ten years old, then these will run better and quicker than new domains. It's best to use a related name URL as well. So, for example, if we have a domain called weddingdresses.com and we put on an article on six pack abs, then as the content isn't related to the domain, this won't rank as well as if we were actually using articles on wedding dresses. Public Web 2.0 networks, these are public sites that you create that are hosted on different IP addresses. These are sites that support articles and links but a lot of the sites also support videos, RSS feeds, and other widgets that we can actually add to the site. The majority of these Web 2.0 network sites, or just Web 2.0 sites, is that the majority of these sites are free. So we can create several different accounts on these sites if we have several different niches. Also on these sites, we still need to remember that we need to add article content that is related to the content that we want to link back to on our, on our main site. There are several Web 2.0 properties actually on the internet that we can use, such as WordPress.com, Blog.com, Soulcast, Blogger, LiveJournal, Squidoo, Hubpages, and Tumblr. And as all of these different types of Web 2.0 site are owned by different people, we know that they are all on different IP addresses. We know that these have high trust, high authority. So we can push a lot of links to these to boost up the links that point back to our main sites. The drawback of a Web 2.0 property is that these sites are owned by other people. So if the owners of the sites don't like the content that has been added, or they think the content is too promotional or looks spammy, they can remove the content. The advantage though of these sites is that we can create a lot of different types of these sites, add a lot of content, and gain a lot of very powerful links back to our main money site. And ideally on these sites, we don't want these to be one article only on the site. We want to repost to these sites over time with related content so that our buffer sites actually become an authority hub of articles, which will again boost the links coming back to our site, which will gain us more powerful backlinks. I'll give a buffer site link in and how these link to our main site. As you can see, we've got our main money site. We've actually got on the left different types of link that we can push in our money site for link diversity such as wiki links, article links from Go Articles, easy and that sort of social signal links such as Facebook, Google Plus and Twitter, doc sharing links 
such as Scribed, DocStock, SlideShare, social bookmarking links, such as Linklist, Dig, StumbleUpon, and also RSS feeds, such as FeedAg, FeedAge, RSS Mountain, there are several others. But on our money sites, we cannot push hundreds of links per day to single pages, as this could incur a link penalty. So what we do, we push a small amount of links from these different types of sites onto our money sites inner pages. But we also create, as you can see on the right hand side, several buffer sites. And to these buffer sites, we can push hundreds of links if we wish. That will link to articles that we add to these buffer sites. So the amount of links that we push to our main money site from the sites on the left per week, we could push to each buffer site easily per day without affecting the buffer site itself, but this will boost any articles we post on these sites. As you can see, these sites act like a wall that protects our main money site when we are pushing different types of links to the buffer site itself, profile links, social bookmarking links, RSS, blog comments. But as I was saying, we can push hundreds of these per day without affecting the buffer site itself and boosting the link that comes back to our money site. Creating buffer sites. We basically go to the site itself. We navigate to the sign up page or the create account page and the details or emails and any capture if needed. It's important to remember that we need we need to add in a valid email so we can validate via the email that the site sends out before we can post. Then we log into the site and we post our article containing our links. And that's basically it. We then go and promote the article using comments, wiki links, whatever tools we've got. And that boosts the link back to our main money site. A couple of words of caution. Some sites don't like links posted as soon as the site is created. These sites are blog.com, blog.ca, plus a couple of other sites. It's best on these type of sites to post one or two articles over the space of two or three days, and then post an article with a link in, but only one link, and the second article post two. And keep it max on these type of sites to two links. But other sites, such as LiveJournal, WordPress, Tumblr, they don't have an issue with posting links as soon as the account has been created. You need to keep your links in the articles that you post to a maximum of three, but preferably use two links. The content on the sites as well must read extremely well. If content sounds gibberish or reads badly, then don't post that content, as it will more likely to be removed. You need a minimum of 450 words in an article, but preferably greater than 500 words. You've got to make all the links that you put in the article in context of the article. So when you read through an article, you may see some words underlined. So when you click on those words, it navigates to the site it's pointing to, and that's called in context links. Always link to the inner pages on your money site and link to only your relevant inner pages. So if you've created a article on six pack abs and posted that on Tumblr, 
then you do want to be linking that article six pack abs back to an article that's got nothing at all to do with six pack abs as Google will be the relevance of the article navigate the link and verify that the relevance of the link is relevant to the article on your site that it is pointing to if not the link will be devalued here's an example of one of the sites you can navigate to livejournal.com forward slash create and we see this page In this page we add in our username we add in our email our password our date of birth and we add in the capture itself then simply click create account the account gets created and a verification email is sent out here's an example of WordPress you go to signup.wordpress.com forward slash sign up and our, and our details and we click create with WordPress there's a paid option and I'll show this in a live example there are two ways you can create these web 2.0 accounts validate the emails and post to these accounts there's also tools that will create different types of link for you as well I'll cover these very quickly with document sharing links such as scribe.com docstock slideshare we can use software such as document marketing robot to create our profiles our accounts follow the emails and create PDFs and post to the sites themselves for wiki links we can use wiki wizard this will create in context links within articles and you can put feed links in over time to your site and your buffer sites you also want additional social signals to our site like Facebook Google Plus and Twitter and there's actually some tools coming for this within the next five to six weeks for creating web 2.0 accounts verifying emails posting to these accounts with links article directories social bookmark and rss feeds plus automatic placeholders for linking different keywords routine keywords which are all panda and penguin ready we can use seo link robot or link robot express and these are the tools that we use in our business for our clients and they do the job spot on I'll now go through a live example and show a few sites that you can create content on and I'll show you how we post and link to them I will use the following as an example we'll use as a younger text six pack abs though in reality we would be using minimum eight to ten anchor text keywords so that we don't over optimize our site for a specific keyword we'll also use the inner page URL on wikihow regarding six pack apps let's start with wordpress.com we navigate to the sign up page as we can see a name email address username password blog address your blog address can be a name or it can be your keyword and we have the two options at the bottom we actually have a paid version or we have the free version all we want to do we want the free version we don't need any of the paid upgrades so we simply click create blog and we will be sent an email which we validate then we will start posting second site is tumblr we are presented with this screen you add an email password username click start 
and we are taken to a capture a couple of options which you fill in then the site is created and as with WordPress we receive a validation email livejournal.com we go to livejournal.com forward slash create and our data and click create account I'll go through and show you how we post some data on two of these sites. The article we are linking to is how to get six pack abs. So we know that we know we need to post a relevant article to this URL. I'm logged into WordPress. And as you can see, at the top of the screen, we have a new post option. If you don't see this, you will have to click on my blogs, create a new blog, and then post to that blog using new post. When you post, we want text so we can post an article. And as you can see, we've got a little WYSIWYG screen. I'll add in a article I already got. Getting six packs abs demands the appropriate workout on the right diet. Article content. As you can see, this content is more than 500 words, so it's ideal. Just paste it in. And I want to add the link back to my site. So I'll copy the link. I'll select the six pack abs and click the little link, add this in and add link. And as you can see, we've added an inline link into our article. We can add some tags, six pack abs, abs diet, weight loss abs, and as you can preview the post and publish. We simply publish, and this is published in our blog. So I publish the post. As you can see, it's published. You can view the post. And as you can see on the site, six pack abs. And we can start to push some social signals to this article using the Twitter and Facebook shares. And all you do is simply take this URL that we've created and we post weekly links to it, social links, bookmarking links. Within LiveJournal, once we've logged in, this is a page we see, we simply go to post, the subject, which is our title. our article and the same way as with the last site we simply add a link so we select our six pack abs our little link add the link in insert And as you can see, the link's been inserted. Note that I'm actually in HTML view. We can get the same visual editor, WYSIWYG editor, as WordPress by clicking the visual editor. As you can see, that's our link. We simply scroll down, we put our tags in. Six 
power grabs and we post this entry and once posted we would take the URL which we can view and we can send our links to and that's basically how we post to our web 2.0 sites the issue comes when we have a lot of sites and a lot of links and we want to use something else to speed this up but initially I would recommend that you always create one or two sites so you understand the process before you use any tools I'll show you a quick demonstration of one of the tools that we use for our clients and our own sites one of the tools we use is called SEO Link Robot, which we can select multiple sites, create these accounts, and verify the aimings automatically, and, and post to very quickly. But as I stated before, we need to understand the process we are doing before we use any tools at all. And I would recommend creating three or four sites add the content add the links publish them point to inner page on your site before you actually start using tools such as SEO link robot for a new campaign we simply add a campaign six six pack apps as you can see the sites we've got, we, there's a new campaign, so we've got no accounts. We would need to generate some data. Add in our URLs, keywords, anchor text, URLs for our inner page in our site, description, and a category. We then choose any sites we want to create accounts on, so should bookmark and create those sites. Web 2.0, article directories, and those sites are created. We then validate the emails themselves, and they're automatically validated. We want to post, we would simply Get an article that we want, add in any tags we want as well to the link. And then we, we simply post, choose the size we want. Select all the sites. And then post and we post to our sites. You can spin, spin text as in the title. And so we can get unique articles, scrape articles, add more sites. And that's basically how we use tools to be able to push links and save us time. And doing these manually would take quite a bit of time. If we use tools like SEO Link Robot, it's going to save us time. And in my business, this saves me time as well as money posting articles all of this myself i simply set it up let it run and i receive all my links and basically that is how buffer sites work how we can create our buffer sites manually and a very very quick example of how we can use an excellent tool to create these for us automatically